Hello, I have another really, really beautiful die set to share with you today, and this is called the Book of Shared Memories Collection. So it makes three different sizes of memory books, and it also makes a beautiful little box as well for the smallest size of book. There are 54 dies in the set, and I think you're going to love it. So I'll just turn the camera down now, and we'll have a closer look. This is the full set, and you can see the page dies here. So the large ones with the end on here that has no cutting edge are the ones that you would make the pages from. So you can see the three different distinct sizes there of books that you can make. And then the ones over here are the ones that you would use to make your little box to put this size of memory book in. And there are really beautiful sentiments with them as well. I've already cut one of them out here, so that's what the dreams look like whenever it's cut out there. And there are lots of elements that you could also use on different other things as well, maybe cards or even scrapbooks because there are beautiful frames and things here. But don't forget that you can use a lot of these on cards because the, the dies particularly in here would make beautiful toppers and things as well. A uh, beautiful key here and all sorts of little elements that could be used for many, many different things actually. And then I think this looks like a really, really pretty die here. There's beautiful debossing detail in that one. And I think that would look really, really beautiful on some mirror card or something with a bit of a sheen off it. So I'm going to have a very, very quick look at what dies are used for which when you're making the books. And then I'll get straight on to showing you how to make the book. But first of all, you need to identify these two little dies here. So this one has a cutting edge all around it. And that will make a little piece that cuts out that you can set down over the eyelets, which you will form with this little die because this one doesn't have cutting edges on the outside, but it has little notches on here. So whenever you create your pages, you'll use this one to cut the eyelets into it and then this one to add the decorative detail over the top. As always, I have all my dies on their sheets already, but I do have them on my magnetic stand because that way they're going to stay put and I'm not going to be looking for them all over the floor afterwards. Uh, well, that's the theory. <laughs> so to make the pages then, I'm going to make the smaller book, the smallest book actually, and then I'm going to possibly make the little box at the end of it if I don't get too bogged down in the book. So I have laid the die, which has the cutting edge all around except the end. That's this one. I've laid that on top of some white card. This is 300 GSM card. And you can see there that it doesn't cut that edge off. So you can leave that whatever length you want. But I'm going to make a little spine on this that you can add this decorative detail through. And then you'll be able to bind the book up with some ribbon or twine or whatever at the end. So you'll notice on this that there are two little notches. And you can see them here on the sides of this die. And you can take this little die here and just line that up perfectly with those notches. And I, if you can see that there, I just line it up with the bottom of the notches like that and run it through my die cutting machine. And then that will give me this. And these ones aren't needed, but they're perfectly spaced then so that these ones will fit into the bigger sizes of memory books that you have. I've drawn a little line out then just to show you where it is. And that's half a centimetre from the edge of that hole right out to where I chopped that off with the guillotine and I can cut straight into that with my scissors and that nips out the page. Now for anyone who's not using centimetres or whatever that doesn't necessarily have to be half a centimetre there. You can make it just whatever size you want. But I would suggest keeping it not too far out from the edge because then you don't want to have a great big area when it's not such a wide area in here. Keep it fairly balanced. Then I can go ahead and cut lots of these out and I'll have them all ready because whenever I turn this page over you can see that you can't see the debossing on the outside of the page there so you'll want to cover that up with a second one and when you have them all cut out exactly the same then you can go ahead and glue them together. These will line up perfectly and you'll have this beautiful detail on both sides and it gives you a really sturdy page as well. Then you'll need to remember that you want to score down that line so again when I've got this finished, I will score down just below the little debossing line there, just below that notch, and then that will mean that the pages will open and close whenever I have them all bound together with twine or whatever along here. Whenever you look in your die set, you'll be able to see the layering dies right inside the page dies here. So. You can see here that this is the page I've used and then I have taken 
the next two dies and I can use those for layering if I want. I can just use one if that's what I like as well. And this one has a beautiful little debossed um, sort of area around it here and that looks really really beautiful in gold or whatever but I have cut some of that out in teal card and backed it onto my front cover and then I have used some of the, the dies from here so this one fits in really really well to the centre of that and then I've used this as well so I'll show you how I've decorated it first of all I have taken this die and I've cut that out in the teal and I've glued it on there and I've also gone ahead and done exactly the same thing in the ocean on the other side on here, ocean coloured card. And you can see that one edge is straight so it's very very easy to know which way around to glue it. Then I have taken this die and I've cut that out in gold. I've then taken that one with that one together and I've cut that out in white. And I have glued that on top of the gold one and put that right into here. Then you'll see because I have layered another one on top. I have taken this one and I've cut that out in gold again. So you can see the gold shining through there and then this one and this one together and I've cut that out in ocean and glued that on top. So I've got several layers going on there but that's really really beautiful. Those colours are lovely together and I love the way they just layer up there and that's the start of my little book. But I'm going to go ahead and glue a little side panel on down here just to cover these whenever I finish that off. So I have used the die with the cutting edge all around the outside of it and I have cut that out here and I'm going to glue that on top of there and then just nip off the bits that I don't need and that makes a really really beautiful side finishing touch to that one as well. But now what I normally do is cut out a lot of pages first of all, start layering up the first layer on here and then come back and add all the decoration that I want on the top. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to put the streams, that's what I had intended to go on there at the start, but I might just put something different on. So that's why I always keep them all together in one place when I've cut them and only layer a few of these things up to start off with and then come back and organise all my pages. So I'll go and cut some more and I'll be straight back. I've decided I'm just going to go ahead and show you these in the order that I do them and in the sort of plan that I do them so um, it may sound a little bit mixed up at the end but hopefully this might actually even just be it the way that suits you best if you work it out. So again it's just layering the pages up, getting ready and then coming back at the very end and adding all the little bits and pieces of extra decoration and everything on. So I hope this really works for you too. And I don't think I've said this already so far in the video but don't forget if you haven't already subscribed to do that and hit the notification bell and then that way you'll be able to keep up to date because I've got lots of videos in the pipeline at the moment and also if you are enjoying it at the end don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and if you get time leave me a little comment too because that always really helps me. Thank you. Now I have taken the smallest layering die this time and after I showed you this layering one that I put on first of all I've now taken the smaller one and I have chopped that off just below where this uh, part narrows in here. You can see it on there and I just went straight across there. Then I took the long piece that I showed you earlier on that would cut out this beautiful part here. Now that is actually for binding up the book at the end but I thought it made a lovely little part there and also when you're doing this kind of thing it's much better to fold them over and tuck them in on the other side and not just leave them sort of cut off here because it strengthens them and it doesn't give them that opportunity to sort of fray back if the glue gets moved about or if you just happen to be using the book a lot and touching this. Now I have taken the same die that I used for this and I have cut, you can see here, just gone ahead at that rounded edge there and I have cut it off just below here. So it's a little bit longer than the piece that I took off here, that, that's this size. I've actually extended that a little bit and then I have just cut off here and here because I didn't want those pieces to be poking out at the end. But I wanted to do that in a different colour so that it looks like the fold back flap of this is just in a different colour. And then I have taken this beautiful little die with the debossing elements on it and I have glued it on here, just folded the little tabs back and you can see it comes out just a little bit further than the actual end of this but that looks really beautiful. And I'm going to glue all of this on to the uh, 
pocket here and then glue the pocket onto the card, onto the page, sorry. See, this is what happens whenever you're used to making cards all the time. You refer to everything as a card. So there we are. And that detail just looks really, really lovely on there. Now all I need to do now is put glue around the outside edges and leave this one open and that's my first little pocket made. Very, very simple. Actually, I should say that I'm not really into all the very, very intricate folds and flaps and things inside a memory book. Um, there's a place for those and maybe someone else might have more of that kind of detail on their video or whatever, but uh, this is the kind of thing that I think is achievable for everybody and then you can step it up a notch if you want to, but uh, hopefully you'll enjoy this. This is my style of memory book. And I forgot to show you there that I had added this beautiful gold onto the front of that as well. So that's page one and the cover done. Now, moving on to the next page again, this is two of the main dies back to back here and really strong. And this time I'm not going to put a layer on the top here the way I have done with this one, because what I have done is uh, cut out some little pieces of card and I think it actually looks better not folded back like that. So I've taken the smaller die again. I have cut it out in lovely teal again here and then folded back just directly on that from point to point across here. Then I have taken the decorative detail that I used on the front, but I didn't use a backing plate on it this time, and I glued it directly on here. Beautiful little padlock and wishes on here. On that little padlock then, I've gone ahead and just backed it on the other side because I thought it just looked nicer when this is going to open. So where I have folded that over, this is actually going to make a little fold up part on that page, but I didn't want this part to be showing here. So I've taken another piece exactly the same size. I have cut it off, but I've cut it off shorter this time because I just want that to be a little bit shorter than the inside of the book or the little signature or whatever this is called. And I'm going to glue that on the back there to cover that up. And then this can go on here. And before I have done that then, before I'm going to glue it on, I've taken the same strip. It's actually this one here is very long, so I was able to get enough out of that to go across here. I glued that on and again folded the edges in here just to keep them nice and neat and tidy. And then that's my next page, so I can go ahead and glue this together. side of that page just fl flip that one over and we've got here so I've got the ocean on background and I've got a smaller uh, layer in the teal and that's going to go on there but this is going to have just a little strip across here to put a photograph or whatever you want in there so I've taken two of the strips in gold again I've glued them both onto a piece of white card and nipped off I've just set it on top here and folded around and then I've got enough to fold over on the other side and then this gives me this little area in the centre where I can pop something in behind. So now that's nice and strong, it's double thickness because it's white card behind there and then it's this on here. I actually thought it would be really nice having a single strip but I thought then whenever I put a photograph in or something it's actually a lot lot stronger to have these two layers side by side. So now all I need to do is glue these onto here Keep that nice and tight and firm and then glue the whole thing on there and that's my next page. page that's going to sit opposite that one. I didn't want to glue these both together until I added a little flap in between the two. So I have cut out exactly the same size here and then I have folded it. You can see just a little bit down behind where the shoulders come in here and I've scored that and folded it right down and that's going to go on there. But obviously because this book is all going to be finished like this I can't have all these extra pieces on here. So I've turned this over and I have drawn around these edges 
and I'm going to leave a little tab on here just to pop in between the two before I glue them together. So I'll just follow the pencil line right round here with the scissors and add a little bit extra on there. You can see when I cut those two pieces off, I folded this back and then just nipped off the little piece here that was covering both sides. So I've got a little nick in here and that means that will fit really, really nice and snug snugly in there and I'll be able to glue the back on. But whenever this is going to be opened up, you'll see the rough side on here. So I've taken the same die that I cut this out with and I have nipped it off right down here and I'm going to put that over here and when I glue that on I'll be able to cut this off here and leave myself this little area that will be nicely covered so when you open it up it'll all be covered on both sides. put my mat on here and I've got this lovely piece here and I have taken this die and I have added that on there. I've also taken this die and this one together and I've made myself this beautiful shape and I'm going to bring the ocean blue and the teal together here by layer layering that one up on top. Then I have taken the little die which is a little handle for the box I think because it's got little indentations on here but I've cut that out so I've cut that in two and typically I have mislaid the piece that I'm looking for but I'm going to glue that on here and then I'll glue the other piece onto the back of that just to even it up then glue that over there and then I've taken two of the dies that are really for the side panels of the little box that this is for I've die cut them both together like that and I'm going to pop that into the centre and then a little debossed love in gold and put that on there and that's another little page done. I just loved that beautiful key tie and I thought in gold that would be really really beautiful on there so it has tied all of that together and it does look really cute. The next two pages then are fairly simple in their layout so I've taken the ocean blue card again and layered it on here and then I've taken the same die in teal and I've cut that in half and I've used one half of it to make a pocket here and I've trimmed it with this lovely gold that uh, is for the buckling effect at the end and then I've used the part that came off the top here, flipped it over and it made the pocket on here. And I've put Forever Memories on here and Dream on here. And these were from the little debossing dies that look really, really beautiful whenever they're debossed in a mirror card. And then I have my two little tags in here. On the flip side of that page then I have covered this with Ocean Blue and then I've taken the second smallest layering die and I've cut that with Teal and I've cut a strip of white card, so that's, um, let me check, two and a half centimetres wide and it's long enough to cover that and tuck around at both sides there. And I'm going to go ahead and glue that on there, but I want to add this on here. So I've cut out the plain layer in white and I've used the two dies together again in gold and I'm going to put that on top and then I'll be able to slip a photo or something right in behind that one. The 
job is it that I have glued this mat on here but this time I have left a space in between this edge here and I haven't just glued that down because I have taken this long strip again and I have cut it off so that the folded part here is seven centimeters and I have left enough to tuck in there and I'm going to go ahead and just glue that in behind there. So then I've cut that again and I've trimmed this piece to 7 centimetres too and I'm going to glue that on there. Now the reason I didn't leave it to the full length and tuck it in would be because it's just a little bit too stiff to go in behind there and it works much better if it's just glued like that. So that will take just a minute or two to hold and I'll put a little peg on it as usual and leave that aside while I carry on with the next bit. Now I've taken a strip of card which is 14 centimetres long by two and a half this way and I've scored it at every centimetre from this edge up to seven so it's one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. So if you come in at this end the first one is a valley fold, a mountain fold and a valley fold and you'll glue that together just in there, glue in that part and hold that together. So now you've got this shape and again you know I'm going to hold this with pegs because it's really handy. There we are. Now you're going to leave a little flat space there and then the next area gets folded and glued together as well. So we've got one flat area here and then those two get glued together in a little mountain fold as well. And again I'm going to hold that with little pegs. So as long as all these areas are folded over, we'll be able to go ahead and glue this on to some of the other pieces in a second or two, but I'll leave it aside till that dries because I want to be sure those pieces are held really, really tightly together before I start to move this. Now, I have cut out four of these shapes. So I've cut three of them out in white card and I've cut one of them out in ocean and then I've added the decorative detail one as well and cut the two of them out together in gold and backed the gold one onto the ocean. And I'm going to take these and start gluing them on here and then adding them to the page. So you'll see when you come to this area here there's a flat edge there, well what I would call a flatter edge and then this one has a more pointed edge to it. So if we stick to the, the flat edge here that makes this a lot easier to glue together and gives it a, a better bit of grab to it. So if you hold this part over and don't glue it down just hold it there and Put glue along this tab here like so and remember to keep that flatter edge pointing inwards. You can just glue that right down there and make sure that that area is right up against that. So right, so right there. Turn that over and just make sure that's all glued down in place. So this edge is butted right up to where this little tab folds over. And then you'll take the next one and you'll look for the flatter edge again there and you'll glue that on directly up to the little fold line here. So put glue on this part. And go on there. And then you can fold this piece over, put glue on that tab and put this one on again with the flatter side pointing downwards. And you can see this beginning to build up here. Now you just fold this part over like that and glue this one on directly on top of there. Again putting the glue on here and flat side in. Now this time the pattern is going to be diagonal but it looks really lovely that way too. And there we are. And when the glue has grabbed on all of those pieces 
and really not before it, you can go ahead and glue this part onto your page. So glue the whole area here. And you can take this little die that I've already used as a decorative detail on a tab before and cut that and then you'll be able to just fold those little fold lines, score lines up like that. It'll give you this shape and whenever you fold that over you'll be able to work out exactly where that needs to get glued and you can go ahead and glue that on there and then this will keep that closed. I'm actually going to fold it down quite a wee bit just so that that's not sitting up too high there. But I'll only put glue on these edges here and not in that centre part. Now I've gone ahead and done a little bit more to my memory book and then uh, I'm just going to explain it here. Basically because I was having problems filming this with the reflection that was coming from this area here. So I have threaded some lovely white ribbon up through here, started at the bottom and uh, threaded it on a needle, in and out through those holes, over the top, back down again and tied a little bow and I've left that hanging, tied a little knot sorry and I've just left the two bits hanging there because I thought that looked really nice. Now I've taken the long die that I used, the beautiful one with the decorative detail on it here and I've cut that out twice and I've backed the two onto each other to make a really sturdy little strap for going across here. And I have then taken this little die and I've cut that out twice and you can see there just how I have folded that so that it sits up in the centre there and glued it onto the front of my book just by these two areas here. So one right there and one right there and then I have cut four little circles with white card with this. I've glued them one on top of each other then I have glued one of these and one of these together and put them right on top of that and glued all of that right onto the very end of the, the rounded end here of the strap. And that strap then will close over and that forms the closure on the book. So I've cut out two of the large keys and I have again I've glued one onto the other to make that really sturdy and so that it's gold on both sides and then that slips down in there and holds the little book closed. I then was able to put this on here and I needed to do this first so that I could see where the placement of that was. Now when you turn this over obviously you can see there then that I had to nip off some of the strap because it was too long. Uh, you could put it right across here if you wanted but I'm go going to put my details of my book along here to send this over for the, the launch of the product and uh, I don't want to put anything else on the bottom of this. So I've cut mine off here and then I took the other little round detail here and I cut that out in gold and because this was quite thick because it's actually two layers of the gold card together I've added this on with a tiny little uh, foam, uh, 3D foam dimensional pad in behind this side of it and glue on there and that's the stage we're at right now. So I go ahead then and open this up and on the other side there then you can see you can see this uh, all the workings of that are visible so I've taken another little one of these dies and I'm just going to glue that on over the top of that and that tidies everything up and you can't see any of that in there then. So now we'll have a little look through the book and see what all's inside. So I've made lots of tags and I thought this was a lovely shape so I've just put little bits of the strap die on there and on some of them I've put the little lock but the, all of that, those little small gold details I thought looked really well. got 
the memory book finished, I'm going to show you how to make a little box for it. So we have this large die here and you've got to cut that out four times. So I've already gone ahead and done that and I'm going to make one side of the box first. Now you'll see whenever this is on your die sheet that there are decorative details inside all of this that you can cut out and pieces for the top and panels for the sides and I have gone ahead and cut some of them out but I'm going to assemble the box first of all and then add those on. It won't be difficult to do that afterwards but it just helps me along to know which pieces I actually need to decorate because some of them will be covered over. So on these two pieces first of all I have uh, uh, reinforced all the little score lines, burnished everything up and on the first one I'm going to go ahead and glue all these tabs to each other the whole way around here and it says on the instructions that you'll get to make sure that those are very accurately glued and there are no gaps in between so you're going to glue those right up to the tabs and keep them nice and tight and work your way around this first die cut. going to take the next die cut, burnish all the score lines again and this time this one fits directly over the top here so that there's a little opening at the front. So what you want to do is glue all of these together and glue this panel to this one the whole way around here and keep these folds and glue tabs nice and tight again and leave this one until the end. So starting here work your way around those two, these two and then fold that one down but keep them nice and tight as you work along. Now you can move on to your third and fourth die cuts and this they are going to fit over this one so when you come to attaching all these glue tabs instead of making the tabs really tight the way we did on the last one so tight and closely fitting like that this time we're going to leave just a little gap the whole way around there and that will mean that this is just that little bit looser and it's going to fit on to the other one nice and smoothly. So then you can go ahead and glue the second piece on the same way as we did for the first part of the box but this time just leaving a little gap in between and not putting the, the glue tabs so tightly on. So now I want to decorate both of these compartments as I would call them for this box and I have taken this large die and I've cut that out in the tail. Then I have used the next smaller die and I've cut it out in gold. So that's this outline die here. That would be this one. I've cut that out in gold and then you can see why I've taped both of these together. I've then cut the two of those together out in white and glued that on top of the gold and that's going to go on there. Then I've taken this one and I've cut that out in gold and I've taken this one along with this one, cut that out in ocean and I've glued that one on top of the gold and that then is going to get glued on there. And those I really love those colours together. I really, really think that's a beautiful combination and it's going to look so pretty with this little book inside. Now to decorate all the side panels around here then, right around the edges, I've got these two dies which I have taped together here because I've been cutting those out in plain colours. I've cut them out in ocean 
and then I have used these dies along with the decorative detail ones inside them so I've taped those together and run those through the die cutting machine and I've got myself these little shapes and then when I glue those together that has given me these little panels and I'm going to go ahead and glue these all around the outside here right round I'll do the same for the second side of the box and glue all this together repeat it on this one and that's it almost finished going to make the closure for this so I've taken this die here and I've actually cut it out twice so I've cut it out in white and then I wanted the decorative details on it in gold so it was just handy enough to put it through the die cutting machine twice. These are little axles and you're going to need 10 of those so I have cut these out in white and I've already glued four of them together here so they're just layered up and then I've taken this little die here and here uh, the two, sorry, the two heart ones here, and I have layered those up in gold with the gold one on the top, and that makes this little piece here that is narrower in the centre, and then the two little caps on there, and then I have taken this die, and I've actually cut that out three times. It says twice on it there, but I've cut it out three times, and that is going to fit through there. So you can see that that fits nice and snugly in through there, and I need to. Just hold that like that for a second or two and get all the other little pieces to glue in on top of that. So then I have put two more little caps together and I'm putting two little axles on in below that. So the axles are the smaller ones and the caps are the bigger ones. And then I can go ahead and glue that directly on there. So that means that this piece then, once the glue has dried on that, you'll be able to feel that this can move around freely on that and that's your little closure catch ready. So now I've glued four little axles together. So the axles are the small ones, the caps are slightly bigger. And I've glued four of those together and I've also got two medallion caps here. So two medallions, sorry. And I'm going to glue those directly on top of that. But first of all, I'm going to go ahead and glue these right on to the end of this little strap here. Now I can go ahead and glue this area. So just put glue on that centre little part make sure you don't get it onto this area at all and pop that on right there and I'm just turning this round at the minute so that that heart is facing up the right way for whenever I glue this on. When you've got your box to this stage and you're going to glue this onto the back I've put a little peg on again because the glue was slipping off that gold card but Whenever you're going to glue this onto the back, make sure that you've got your book inside so that you know exactly what size this box needs to be. Because if you push it too far in together, these two closely, then your box isn't actually going to fit. So put your book inside and then you'll know. And then we can go ahead and pop that there, fold this around, over like that, and onto here and glue it there. And then slide that off and then I've taken another panel which I can then glue on over the top. So that's it all finished now and I added the sentiments both on on 3D foam dimensional pads and here we are we can just open it up here slip that back slide this out and take our little box off and there's our little book and what do you think do you like it i hope you like the colors as well i absolutely love those they're my favorite colors so i was really really happy to get making that book in those colors today now if you've enjoyed this don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up and leave me a little comment down below to let me know what sort of things you liked and 
whatnot through the video. Quite often whenever I'm making memory book videos I would add different dies into them and I would put lots of different dies from other sets and things just to decorate the little book but I just thought that these were so nice and that the gold was so beautiful and everything looked so well and that that I didn't actually add anything but you could definitely do that. There's uh, no problem at all on the inside of this for decorating that up and adding lots of little dies and embellishments even from lots of your other sets that you might already have. So thank you very very much for watching. Ha do hope you have enjoyed it and don't forget if you haven't already subscribed to do that and hit the notification bell as well. So my affiliate links for everything that I've used here, the die sets, the card and all of the things that I have used will be down below in the description of the video. You'll be able to check it out there and thank you to everybody who uses those. I do really appreciate that. And until next time, happy crafting. Bye bye.